reached that time of the year where a lot of the chemical programs for 2019 are being put into place for farmers to control tough weeds like our Weed of the Week that we'll talk about a little later in our show. But one of the things that farmers are really concerned about is weed resistance. And you read a lot about this in newspapers and farm magazines. You may be wondering, what are we doing about weed resistance on the farm level? One of the big challenges that farmers will, will have is, well, I want to use multiple modes of action. So products, crop protection products from different chemical families to try to avoid this resistance Well, problem. the only reason Darren says that's a challenge is sometimes it's very confusing and in the advertising that comes out from the big companies, they don't necessarily tell you which specific mode of action it is. So to make things very simple, we have an Ag PhD mode of action app that farmers across the country are now able to use. It's really nice because farmers can pick products that they're using and it will tell which modes of action they are. And then you can put together a whole program and say, well, if I use this product soil applied and this product foliar later on, how many different modes of action am I getting? And are those modes of action effective on my worst weeds? Yeah. Yeah, the reason why Darren and I are never all that worried about weed resistance is because we have so many different options to control weeds. And if a farmer goes out there with three different effective modes of action every single year on every weed, we aren't going to have a problem. So you hear about these super weeds and you may be thinking, wow, I don't know what farmers are going to do. It sounds like the world's going to come to an end out on the farm in a couple of years here because the weeds are just going to take over. Rest assured, there are lots of different choices that farmers have to try and control these weeds when it comes to herbicides and certainly cultural practices and tillage and crop rotation, all those things come into play as well. Well, whether you're a farmer or a non-farmer, we'd encourage you to check out the free Ag PhD Mode of Action app just so you can see all the different modes of action that there actually are are out there for herbicides. We'll help you pick out some great choices to control our read of the week coming up later in the show.